Howdy guys, welcome back to another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Okay. Uh, hopefully this one actually gets in us into a good spot. Oh. Oh. Thought we was gonna have to repel down. Yes, so. Did you, I don't know if you guys saw her like or not, but it started twitching. No. <laughs> Dang it. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I... cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Is it... the cease? Yes. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes. <sighs> Gaia. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Uh, I, I... A moment. Scanning data. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations. And you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh... So no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Barl, so this is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have a 
established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? Okay, there we go. A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Okay. So not too bad, actually. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Oh. So this was supposed to be... I know what she's trying to do. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. I know what she's trying to do. That Zoe and stuff. Okay. Oh, we don't have enough. Um... Yeah, we don't have enough parts for it and stuff. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We yeah, I'd... Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I kind of want to talk to Gaia. And stuff. Try to get everything set back up. How we have it going. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. 
Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and... and... Why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. So that's why the three subordinate functions that you did So that's why they said VR. It's cuz they're technically not the there but it's Okay. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? 
Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. I guess, I I guess get we'll get started. Start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay, so we gotta go meet Zoe and 
Varlow. At the west door. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could oh. head back east first. Check on how Plain Sail is doing after the attack. Are you sure? Or I could also look around yes. here some more. I think it'll be better this way. Oh. After you, Aloy. What were y'all talking about? I need to head further west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This it's like training. Actually, I'm going to go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies friends can help we have a place to stay now and like you said gaia can teach us catch us up it'll be okay okay take these then one to wear one for backup are you going with him no after what happened in the cave below i want to stay here a while there is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Hey guys, we are here. Warriors everywhere. I'm confused. She struck a blow to us at the embassy. This much is true, but steel. Regala's forces oh. may seem strong now, but her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter, and neither will we. Blood of the Ten, you've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions... You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. 
Why does Hikaru want to see me? She looks like Hikaru she's trying to be a ball eagle and stuff with Nobody all the feathers on her and that hairdo type situation. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the ten. Thing is, though, I bet you the chef or the their chief. It's glitched. Incomplete. Oh. Uh. It's probably gonna be like he's at he's gonna have like a desk or something where it's going to be like a round table or something around him. What the heck? Oh the chief is inside. Okay. Ready to see him? Uh I'm ready. Sure. Good. See a little notepad wow. behind her. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Kuru. I've sent out a call for the competition. The 
since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Ku Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the Cool Root? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong, while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian, that peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav. He will be missed. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years. Killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to save her, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All Tanakh respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Katalo? 
Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. What did the Old Ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Alright guys, well I'm going to end it here, so if you did enjoy it guys, do like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye guys!